Fessel bags are probably the coolest golf bag on the market right now. Definitely the hottest. That I've seen. They've been sure. flying off the shelves here. Yep. So today we're going to review uh, our favorite Vessel bag, talk about some of the differences with their bags and what makes them so stinking popular. Let's go. Let's go. Don't forget guys, if you're in the Denver metro area, come in, check us out. Also, these bags are on our website right now. So go on our website, embersgolf.com, if yep. you want to get one on order. Um, otherwise, let us know if you have any comments, questions on these bags. If you want to order any equipment from us and you're not local. So they can get more than just these bags? Anything they want. Look at behind me. Do you not know those were there the whole time? That's awesome. Uh, email us at golf at embers living. We can put it down right here. Golf at embers living.com. We can hook you up with whatever you need. All right, talk to me about Vessel, Tate. Okay, so Vessel is one of the, the coolest bags that I've seen. It started, um, a buddy of mine showed up on the course with one, and they feel and look phenomenal. So over a time, over the last year, I've started seeing them pop up. Obviously, I saw um, Phil Mickelson has been using their bags. Other, other bags have been pulling up You're on tour. Me? No, I'm not. They're staff bags. But they just feel and look fantastic. Oh. And then they dropped this bad boy. This yeah. is the Lux XV 2.0. 2.0. The 2.0. 2 yeah. Sorry, I did 2.2. .2. Yeah. The 2.2. .2. That's wrong. No, it's 2.0. Okay. Um, but they, they won me. They blew me away. Blew me away, too. I'm yeah. using, we're both using them. Yeah. We're it didn't both take game, long We're both gaming change. them. They're in the bag. Yes. Look at that. I mean, that's, that's 100%. Uh, 100%. You don't know what it is. No. Give me a second. Velvet? Mink. Mink. <laughs> it's 100% mink. That's false. And that's endangered species mink right there. Just kidding. It's not. It's not. But I mean, look at that. It's just so comfy. It's just made for valuable. So Trevor's hand right there is in the, it's that's so where your comfy. range finder would slide. It's not going to get dinged up oh, or messed up. Oh, is that what you do with that? Yeah. See, and then, I have mine right here like an animal. I took it off. Oh, you took it? Yeah. Oh, it's it's disappeared. Purposes. But look at this. Your strap goes through the pouch under here, okay. through the pouch again. And it also comes with a sleeve that keeps the strap from the cart on rubbing the bag directly. Um, uh, these I'm are made out I'm of- I'm not using that. Are I'm going to start because there's a clip right in here that holds it all the time. Uh, these are made from tour grade synthetic leather. So it's not real leather, but that's What does that's tour better. grade mean? It just means that it's weather resistant, like bleeding resistant. Bleeding as in your color's not going to fade and rub off when you have to clean it. So Especially you your bag, when you have to take a wet rag to it, you're not going to take the white off. Is it graded for the tour? Yeah, you could say that. Okay. I like that. Sure. And then, Tell us yeah, a little bit about the pockets, Trevor. Slides through right here. So, yeah. We got a zipper pocket here. Now this is for all your golf balls. Yep. Obviously. Yep. And I got a serial number here. Yeah. So, you know what? A serial number always comes in handy. Yeah. How often do you need a serial number? Anytime you need to do a warranty claim. I've had a nickel for any time I was like, where's my serial number on anything? I would have like maybe one nickel. Yeah, 10 cents maybe. <laughs> Here's the other thing I loved about this. While Trevor's down there, Trevor, show us the water bottle. Which one? Oh, yeah, this guy. Look how that pops out magnetically. So, so but you could go double water bottle. Yeah, so the only thing me and Ricky Fowler have in common is we both use Yeti water bottles on the course. And mine fits in here, guys. My 26 ounce Yeti, which is stinking awesome that it fits. Let me, allow me a demonstration. I mean, you, you got double barrels. You just go boom, boom. You kidding me? Two waters, just like that. Two waters. Soda? Yeah. Could you do soda? You could do sodas. What about some cold ones? You could do some cold ones. Okay. What yeah. about like some white claws? You could do some clawies. Hmm. Ranch water? Yeah. You could see that? Yeah. Coronas? Like bottles? Probably not a good idea no, on the golf they course. They probably don't want glass on the course, but you could. Yeah, but I mean, be a dead giveaway. Yeah. But that's magnetic. So the second you're done with your water what bottle? Water, water. Boom, out of the way. Yep. Didn't even know it was there. Yeah. But out in all seriousness, it Sharpie is holder. actually really sweet. Sharpie holder? Yeah. The other thing here that I noticed. These uh, zippers kind of look waterproof too. Yeah. Even when you're on You a, just ignored that thought. Well, you had interrupted me when I was already in this process. Okay. When you're on the walking cart, so in, in, on a push cart, these on Velcro, these straps here, and then hook 
to the cart. So you would take these out, hook them to the cart and re-Velcro them so your bag doesn't fall off the sides of walking carts, which is a real problem when like you rent a walking cart from a course. So that's pretty cool too. Mm -hmm. So go your water, your zippers, what were you saying? They're, they kind of remind me of like a cooler, like an Arctic or a Yeti yeah. zipper. Like Where it's water resistant. They're water so resistant. If it's getting rained on. Yeah, I think you're okay there. Absolutely. And so then, just endless pockets for activities. Yeah, but there's also- little, Ooh, a little buckle on the inside. Yeah. What would you do with that? Also a zipper in here, and I haven't checked it out yet, but there's a zipper inside one of these pockets that actually locks right here. So this zipper right here is for your valuables. You could slide it in there. In the video, it shows a watch. And then you can padlock the zipper closed. So if you have like a nice watch or your wallet or something, you can you can padlock the zipper to that hook and then that pouch is locked. I'll so be, if you have a caddy or something, you don't have to worry about them swiping your, your Rolex. See, I wasn't worried about it. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely put my Rolex in there when I'm out of the course. My Rolex is, because I wear one on both wrists. In case someone asked you for the time. Yeah, I have one for my home time, and then if I'm on vacation, that one goes on the new time. So, I, see, I wasn't worried about a caddy. I think that would be a lot more practical when you go into the clubhouse for a cold one. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody rummaging through your bag? Yeah. So, once we get up top, though, this is where we're making our money with this bag. Yeah. So tell me, tell me one of my favorite things about the club slots. Okay, so first things first, you have 15 club slots. Now you're thinking, wait, you're only allowed 14 clubs. That's okay, because you usually have alignment sticks, you can use this and that for all that other This and stuff. that for all that? Yeah, this and that sure. for all that. But the biggest thing that Trevor's referring to, which is only compatible with this bag that we have three of, the Lux no, XV 2.0. that's 2. not what I'm talking about first. The club organizer? I'm talking about that nothing's getting bunched up. Why is not? Why are my oh. grips not catching? Yeah. So why? There's sleeves that why? go all the way down of each 14 pocket. 15. 15 pocket. Mm -hmm. 15 pockets. There's sleeves that go down that keep your clubs from intertwining down below your grips from sticking and getting stuck. They don't stuck. catch. That's so, huge. Now go with, go with what you were saying. Then you have your club organizer. So you can see Trevor, um, our Mira bag, and my bag. We have are 60 degree or your wedges through your five iron. Now this can also be done with a hybrid. So it's wider up here. So you can have a hybrid in this spot here. And then you have your four iron, your woods, your putter up front. Now, why is this so cool for like, like especially for that your bag gaming, in your hands, yeah. Gaming Muras. Well, tell us about why are those. Because they're soft forged clubs. So when yeah. they're in the bag, you don't want them clanking around. They just end up like dinged and scratched. Yeah, And Dented. if you're, you're rocking $400 a stick, yeah. You want to keep those nice. Yeah. Oh, and look at under here, Chris. They got a little magnet, so. That's what keeps them in place. Holds, holds it in place. And then this just literally. Pops off. Pops off of there. So if you have this in your travel pouch or something like that, you can leave it on, but you most likely want to take them off so that they don't yeah. snap. That so is. that's the Lux XV 2.0. They also make stand bags. They make um, mini staff bags, so they're bigger like a staff bag, but not quite the size of a staff bag. They have a full staff bag. But what would be the purpose of that? Oh, we forgot to talk about the umbrella. Um, I think probably club pros. So they're, they're on the carts a lot of the time, but you're still sharing that space. You can't, obviously if you show up to the course and you have a full staff bag, the other guy that's with you is not gonna fit his bag on there. Yeah, that's so true. So it's a disservice. An umbrella holder. And they got a little notch right here. Boom, boom. And then. Your nice little elastic band. Nice little elastic band. So you just band her in. Boom. <coughs> love it. I mean. Everything about this we're bag covering I love. All, What does this pouch do? That holds your strap. Well, it's gotta do more than that if you want. If you can put whatever you want in there, but that's what it's there for, I'm pretty like sure. Like some oranges? Clementines, yeah. Some apples. All right, there's our review. Of this bag. Of this bag. They still have the Pro Staff bag. The only color that we don't have here in this bag is black. So it comes in white, navy, gray, and you can also get this bag in the black. Um, they have some really sweet colors in the stand Pro bags. Stand bag. They have yep. like one that's like a light brown. It's called the Iron Brew, I believe. Yep. But everything around this bag, look at, look at this stand bag. One, it's really light. Two, you can do it the oh, six way. This goes all the way down too. Yeah. Should I get it stuck? Don't get it stuck. You can do the six way or the 14 way, but look at this, like even your handle is that same tour oh, synthetic yeah. leather. That's nice. Everything about these bags is just, it's honestly, it's over-engineered. Same kind of magnet, water It's pouch. overkill. Ooh, I like the 
I like this though. Yeah. Oh, and that that little that little mink. That's that mink you were talking the, about. The endangered mink rubbing on your shoulders. That's gonna feel nice. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you haven't already, check out Vessel. They are they're taking over the. But where the can golf. they check them out at? Our website. Our website. They're in stock. They're in stock in the showroom. Yeah. The club organizers are in stock. They're popping up. But they're taking off. We might. We we're gonna probably sell out. Yeah. I think right now we currently have four more in stock. Sold yeah. on this morning. So. Yeah. Um, vessel. Vessel's taking over. If you haven't seen it on the course, look at other carts and you'll see one. I can almost guarantee it. We'll see you guys next time.